Hey everybody, good morning. Um, we have officially made it to the Skidaway State Park down in Savannah, Georgia. We got here late last night. I couldn't show you guys any pictures or anything. I'm hoping I can take y'all around the campground a little bit sometime today, but we're kind of just getting breakfast going and taking showers and stuff like that, trying to get started for the day. And um, then we'll see what we get up to. I know, you know Savannah has some, some really great places and um, some fun places to go. So I hope I get to take you guys there. But some of the places we're thinking about going is maybe like a lighthouse or the Bonaventure Cemetery or Wormslow or, you know, just I have no idea where we're going. So I'm just going to take you guys along. So we thought we would show you around the campground a little bit. And we always make the joke that we have a 1980s little baby camper and we like to see if we're the oldest in the campground, which we usually are. And there seems to be some sort of presentation going on close by because I keep hearing loud talking. So we'll let y'all know if we're the oldest one. you were wondering about these trees down in Savannah and some of the older cities in Georgia these are called live oak trees and they have Spanish moss hanging down from them most of these trees are several hundred years old and they just are so beautiful in some of these older cities so today we decided to come to Bonaventure Cemetery in Savannah Georgia and it you will I'm thinking be pretty amazed at how beautiful it is. This is just gorgeous. We were just discussing about the fact that cemeteries have kind of become just parks because there's so much, so little green space in cities anymore that I guess in order to find beautiful trees and green space, you have to come to the cemetery. Now, Bonaventure Cemetery is very, very old. I will put the date on the, uh, down in the description box. I'll try and pop it up here so you can see it, but it is an extremely old cemetery in Savannah. Nothing like New Orleans, but it is very, very old. Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel, Chatting with Chops. I try and make fun and entertaining videos that might teach you something, and this weekend we are heading The rocks on the headstones can mean several different things, like li the living remembering the dead, or keeping evil spirits away, or just comforting the dead. Coins on a soldier's grave meant a penny represented that the you had visited the grave, a nickel meant that you had been in boot camp with the soldier, a dime meant that you had served with the soldier, and a quarter meant that you were with the soldier when he was killed in duty. So there was a lot of definite symbolism that was going on to a lot of these different marks on the graves. But this is what I was talking about with the park atmosphere. Let's look at this massively old tree it's in the middle of this cemetery. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Again, like I said, so many of these cities, you just don't have green space anymore. And it's a very quiet, peaceful place to come. So we are at the Tybee Island Lighthouse. Yes, there is 178 steps. We have done it before. I did not make a video of it, and I don't plan on doing it again. If you're ambitious and would like to do that, they have tours that you can view, go into their museum and you can go all the way up the lighthouse. And some of them even have guided tours where they'll tell you all kinds of interesting facts and history about the lighthouse. But here we are. Again, we're at the Tybee Island Lighthouse. Pretty awesome.
driving through enjoying Tybee Island just through some of the residential area that's surrounding the lighthouse and I thought this would be a great time to say you know thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe I love making these videos and would love some great suggestions from you guys of what videos you'd like to see in the future I forgot to give you guys a view of our campground so a lot of the state parks do a really good job of giving you one side of your campground is just off into the woods nice unobstructed view so if you looked out our little side windows this is the view we get I'll see how pan all the way around this is the side of the camper we usually face towards that and that's over the dinette so that we can look out in the morning and see that. Other view that you get is usually right by the road, which we did have a pull-in this time, so that's normally what happens. And for the most part, you know, we have windows all the way around our camper, but it makes it where you can enjoy the view. So while nobody's in here, I thought I'd show you the amenities at uh, Skidaway State Park. Of course, you always have a big sink area and several little potties. And then they always have these really nice shower areas that, you know, you have a, a little bench and then some hooks and a shower curtain and everything's, you know, you have a locking door between you and getting changed and everything. So that's always really nice. So there's your bathroom facilities for Skidaway State Park. But they even have laundry services here with a nice big sink that you can use. So just keep that in mind. Sometimes when you go to these state parks, some of them have a little bit more than others, but they have a nice laundry services for you as well. The one other thing I wanted to show you guys is some people don't know what a standard campsite looks like. And pretty much you get a little pad where sometimes the picnic table is up on that pad. Somebody's moved it down. But you get a nice flat pad to where your picnic table is. And you get a fire ring, which I do not see the fire ring on this campground. It must be on the other side of that. And then you'll see you've got your electric box and then just your identifier number. Oh, there's the fire ring. So since we were here last, Skidaway has made this beautiful visitor center that we're gonna go check out and see what's going on. This is much bigger than their last one. So this is the really wonderful part about stopping with a camper. We've stopped for lunch and actually, you know, truthfully, we could have just made something for lunch and we've done that plenty of times too, just stopped and had lunch, but went up to one of the local restaurants and grabbed lunch and then we're just sitting in a parking lot enjoying our meal.